Today I'm going to be reading some Star Stable reviews. They're not necessarily bad or good, just ones I thought were entertaining or interesting. One star, pure disappointment. Okay, so I bought the game for my daughter of 12. First it was fun and games, but turned out after level 5 you need to pay for a subscription or buy it at once. This one has so many typos in it. By the way, I, I gathered these like a while ago and then haven't really looked at them since, <laughs> so... I bought the game at once for her birthday. Since then, her grades began to go downhill. Also, she does not get social. She became overweight because she only sat and played this game. She is skipping her horseback riding for fake expensive horses that mean nothing. You know, I feel like this one might be a joke, but also, if it isn't, like, that's not the game's fault. You're supposed to take care of your child. And for what? For an expensive game with no features, zero child safety, price increase for absolutely nothing, dumb quests, a money-hungry game, sketchy graphics. So what you learn from this review is not buying the game. Yeah. These are from both Common Sense Media and Trustpilot, I think. This was given a one star. Do not play this game. If you love Star Stable, go for it. For me, I feel nope. Some of these are so badly written, and like this one here says adult. This one too. I mean, English might not be their native language. First of all, why Star Stable? They ignore you. Like when you- This is gonna be so hard to listen to. I'm, I'm trying to like edit it while I talk. <laughs> when you try to get help on bugs or glitches, they banned you. That might be true for some specific cases. Second, customer service is not helping. Like when you email Star Stable bots that give you automatic answers, the same thing. They do not read the email. Do not get me started with when you buy a horse and then you're going home and poof, you got another horse. Have a great day. Should I have like rewritten these? I don't know. I feel like this is going to be so stupid, but I'm too lazy for that. Okay, this was given a five stars and was written by a child. I think I got a code idea. Watch this kid have better the grammar than the other people. So if you read the title, it's about an idea. So my idea for a code will be like 1 million star coins. So when other people use this code, they'll have 1 million star coins. For the code, maybe it's your idea what the code name will be, Star Stable. Like when you redeem the code. I think my idea is good. Well, yeah, but maybe it's your idea, Star Stable. Anyways, bye. I don't think Star Stable reads these. <laughs> but uh, you keep you keep hoping. Uh, next, we got another five-star review. The perfect game for kids. I think Star Stable Online is an amazing game for kids and teens. Like, I'm a teen, and I've had lifetimes of Star Rider ever since I downloaded the game. That very same day, I bought Lifetime. Star Stable is not a bad game for everybody who thinks it is. Then try playing it yourself before you throw hate towards my favorite game ever. I like how the SSO teams have been lowering prices for Lifetime. They haven't. I mean, sometimes they do deals and have been up updating every single Wednesday with better ideas for uh, update ideas. Don't put hate towards SSO, they try their best to come up with better ideas each day to post it on Wednesdays to make all SSO players happy. I love how SSO team is creating new updates for us to check out, but when I go on to SSO YouTube channel and see all the hate comments written, it triggers me to ban all the people who assume that people are wasting time and wasting money on this game, which is your loss, not mine. SSO is an amazing game once you try it. For this, it's definitely, like, when people are finished with the game, it's like you're finished with the game. And I know it advertises that, like, it's going to keep continuing on, and it is still continuing on. But you have to know it is a lot more fun when you first start it, obviously. This got a four stars written by a teenager. So I honestly love Star Stable, but there. But here's the thing. One time I logged on to find a pony in my stable that I had never bought. I asked my family and my friends if they had done anything to my account, but they didn't. And I know they aren't lying. It wasted my star coins and the pony was one of my least favorite coats. Now I'm stuck with this horse I didn't even want. I contacted, I contacted support and all they said was, don't share your password. It is impossible for someone to hack this game. Blah, blah, blah. They didn't even help me. I was purposely saving all my star coins for a horse later on. I cried so much and was so heartbroken. And guess what? Just a few months ago, my friend also found a horse on her account that she didn't buy. It was a North Swedish horse with, with one of those weird purple coats, which she would never buy. She hates North Swedish horses. 
She contacted support as well, but they did nothing. Please, Star Stable, help the people who have been hacked and give them back Starcoin so they can sell the horse and go back to normal. Yeah, I mean, the most likely possibility is that you shared your password with someone, but I wouldn't say it's impossible to hack this game. So definitely, definitely odd. This was given one star by a 15-year-old. I hate this app. This app is bad for young children. It promotes depression and cyberbullying. My child came crying to me after playing this game. She explains that she was being uh, abused by her father. Her father is an alco alcoholic. He only became this way after playing this game. You know, I don't know what to do with these joke ones. <laughs> Obviously, they're funny and I want to include them in the video, but I also don't want to be, like, insensitive. Four stars. It is a great game, but you have to level up to breed. I think you got the wrong game. This was given a one star. I tried for four hours to get into the secret circle with Justin on my horse to finish a quest. And I can't get into the damn circles to come up at all. I was even using my starter course. This is not the first time that I have had this trouble. They need a feedback spot. Otherwise, I do not enjoy playing the rest of the game, except when I have to try to get into that secret circle to get the to get to Frip. They need to fix the damn thing. I wonder if anyone else has trouble with the same thing. Honestly, I feel like everybody's gotten frustrated with the secret stone circle. Four hours. Uh, this was given a one star, but they say they rate it five stars. This one's not very interesting. I think I just included it for that was given a one star. This game is addictive and has taken over our granddaughter's life, leading her to ne neglect herself. The game actively encourages per participants to make purchases. She has used, without permission, our bank account to make purchases, which neither Star Stable or the bank will refund. The banks are unable to block payments to Star Stable, and we have had to cancel and replace debit cards on, on two occasions. We can't access her account on Star Stable as she changes the password regularly. Her college work and attendance are suffering to the point that she, that her place uh, next year is on the brink. We are trying to get some counseling for her, but she is reluctant to access it and spends all her waking hours playing this game. I hope Star Stable will read this review. It would be helpful if they could limit the amount of time a child can play and question with the bank or cardholder when multiple purchases are made in a short period of time. You know, again, not sure if this is true. If it is, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know if this is a child or an adult they're talking about. If it is your child, then it's nobody's fault but your own. Um, that sounded mean, but it's true. <laughs> this is another joke one, but it's... Uh, five stars. 49-year-old Karen, free not taken. My 11-year-old daughter, Michelle, was playing Star Stable one day, and on her seventh hour, she got locked out of her account. She smashed the computer in for a bit, but after a while, she calmed down. We blame Star Stables because she spent our life savings on Star Rider. Then our real horse died because we didn't have enough money to feed him. But to be honest, we kind of abused him anyway. Please don't sue me. I just didn't feed him or give him any water. Like, it's not that bad. Yeah. So Michelle didn't care, she just sat on the horse's corpse and played with her virtual horse while we're drunk. But overall, excellent game. This game is, uh, this was given three stars. This game is cool and all, but I am 12 years old and my parents say, we are not going to waste real money on that stupid game. When they say that I get sad, so I'm just asking for one thing. Please give out some free star coins and... Star Rider at least once a month. I have the perfect idea for this. You can make a wheel and put some things on there, e.g. one month of Star Rider for 2,000 Star Coins, but make two wheels on for Star Coins and one for Star Riders, please. Yeah, I mean, obviously they won't do this. They have been giving out, like, smaller codes recently, which I think is great. And I feel like they give out Star Rider codes uh, fairly decent amount of time. Um, I mean, you can enter giveaways. Here is a three-star review. My honest review as an older player. Well, 
I've been playing Star Stable since 2015. I have seen its ups and downs, and I have been for a long time. I don't really enjoy playing it anymore, but seeing as now they are trying to listen, I do want to respect it. Yes, they didn't listen first, but now they are trying their best. And now I've gotten us to recognize this, I truly hope they can fix the characters, add more animations, let us eat, and overall, I do think that it can become a good game again. It's not the worst out there, but I don't think that the pay wall is worth it. Way too expensive, if you ask me, for a lot of money. That period. I don't know why we need to eat, though. Here's a one-star review relating to the fairly recent uh, controversy. Conserver. I can't say that. You know what I mean. Uh, where they, like, you don't get your 100 star coins a week with, like, the sale. They, did, they didn't tell anyone about. So greedy it hurts. About a week ago, I paid a reduced amount of money for Lifetime Star Rider. After purchasing, it said I would receive 1,200 star coins instantly. It didn't give me the 1,200 star coins. I contacted the company to ask what's going on, and they said that must have been a technical error, but nothing else. So, no reimbursement, nothing. So I let it slide, because I know st how Star Stable can be listening to their players. A week passed, and I didn't receive any star coins, as lifetime star riders usually get per week. I messaged again, and this is not their response. And this was their response: due the due to the price being low, we took out the 100 star coins weekly. This is not included in this bundle. Absolutely outrageous. So I just paid 36 euros. Is that euros? I don't know. I think it was for a lifetime star rider, and I don't get any benefits other than using global chat and visiting star rider only places. Disgusting. I would have not have purchased the Lifetime Star Rider if I knew that I would not receive star coins. Now the only way I can get them is to buy them. I will not be logging on to SO again. Goodbye. Yeah, I completely agree with this. That was a terrible move. Okay, next is a 5 star review. I just think it's really cute. Um, it's the best horse game. I love this game so much. People say it's just a game. But I played it today and rode my favorite horse, Blaze. He is a Belgian Warmblood, and I have had him for a while. And I just got 10,000 star coins and bought a bunch of horses and haven't been riding him much. So I took him out for a trail ride in Golden Leaf. I don't know why, but it was so magical on a mountain. Looking at Star Stipple's realistic water on a horse, I have so many memories. Uh, and made me feel emotional, and it was one of the best feelings. It's an amazing game. This I feel like... I feel like this kind of proves that it is just people growing up. Like, usually I'm like, but, like, it kind of was, kind of did used to be better. But then there's things like this where people are experiencing it as kids for the first time again. And I just, I love that. Another one-star review. Here's another one-star review. They gave me only 5,000 coins for buying 10,000, and they can see that I bought it in my account and banking screenshot, but because I didn't get mail for their receipt of my money, they say no. They will not give me more information. This was my sixth and last time bought, and no, I am not really stupid to pay so much money. This game was my stimming tool. I am autistic, and horses are my passion, and when I played there, this calmed me. Now, now a little world breaks down to me. An interesting difference was this time, the last ones I paid with PayPal, and this time I got paying mails. With PayPal, you can also get your money back. With more, with normal banking, no. Okay, the second paragraph is kind of not written too well because English isn't this person's first language. But they're basically saying that they didn't get extra charges when they used PayPal. But they did get extra extra charges when they were they directly to the bank. So use PayPal, maybe. <laughs> I mean, still obviously that kind of thing shouldn't be happening. But here's another just kind of wholesome five star review. Here's another just kind of wholesome five star review. This game is amazing. I'm a teen with anxiety. I can't play violent or perilous games, and I've had several panic attacks. From playing games like Red Dead. I love horses and was looking for a game that would let you grow bonds and really connect with every aspect of owning horse. And what I found was surprisingly lacking. 
But after playing through the entire free trial of Star Stable, I took the chance and bought Lifetime Star Rider, and I was not disappointed. This game has everything you would want from engaging quest lines to the ability to bathe your horse and trail ride under moonlit waterfalls. I spent hours on it and connect with so many kind people. It is honestly the best game I've ever played, and it gets way too much hate. I recommend it to anyone. Okay, but Star Stable gives me anxiety sometimes. Like, <laughs> some of the quests, I don't know. Don't switch servers. That was a five-star review, by the way. I love horses. This game is great for me. Just one thing. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. One day, I wanted to play with my friend IRL, but my server was full. Hazy Galaxy. And she could not join, so I f switched to Frost Valley, and the next day I can't join back to Hazy Galaxy. So I think that Star Stable sh uh, should update how many people can be in a server at once. They already did do that, <laughs> for one. Again, it'd make the game more laggy. And I have, I have experienced that before. But it literally warns you. So, I don't really know. What? Here is a two-star review. Game would be amazing if you didn't have to pay money just to unlock the entire world. Besides codes, you can only go to Moreland and Fort Pinta, and Star Rider codes don't get released that often. So people who d don't have money can't do any fun things at all. I know I'm asking for a lot, but can we make it so that either the entire world is just unlocked, or that we have to earn levels to get to places? It would make the game a lot better in general, because a lot of kids, and adults who don't have money, would be able to enjoy the game. It would be nice if any if everybody could just play the whole game, and it is a little bit misleading that they advertise it as a free-to-play game, but you have to pay for games. <laughs> That's just how it works most of the time. Another one-star review. Stop being such a cash-grab game. Most updates consist of new buyable horses or clothes, making the game feel like a paywall all the time and lacking any features. Bring back interesting storylines and content. Also, an amazing feature that I think would please new players and old, bringing back a big de demographic, is allowing the player to pick their graphic style, allowing them to pick between the new graphic style and the old. The old graphic style had more realism and a feel to it. Older players miss this style. I think this would add so much depth and bring a uh, big player base back to the game. We miss the realism of the old game with graphics and storylines. For the first part of it, like, I did say you have to pay for games. But the fact that you pay for the game and have to pay more for the items, like, that much more too, is not, like, that is too much. And then with the second half, the horses are more realistic now, but the environments were more realistic back then. And... I did like the old environmental graphics, but that would cause so much lag. And don't get me wrong, I do want them back. I'm just... I'm just saying. Here we have two one-star reviews relating to the new characters. I rated it a 1, because when they updated the, the characters, they, they, they made them look really terrible. No offense. But they are so terrible, they made me cry. And I think they should go back to the old ones that everybody actually liked, not these new, crappy, ugly characters. Um, for this one, I like the new characters. Okay, I do. They do need more body types, even though I'm pretty happy with mine. But, like, I, I want other people to have more body types. And, like, looking back on the old ones, I'm like, no. Honestly. <laughs> what happened, SSO? This was a great game. So fun. I played it every day. This update made me almost quit. It's very non-inclusive. As a five-foot person, I feel non-included. I look awful on my smaller horses. I use so, so much money on this game. It feels like I wasted my money. Please fix this. Yeah, like I, like I said, need more representation. But it is better than what we had. So those are all the reviews I have for now. And I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Bye.